Jo, tím to vlastně jen, jo. The general goal of this small business is to bring back the Nixie tube technology to recover the knowledge how to make good Nixie tubes and to keep it and polish and improve over time. Um, if we want to be successful in the long term, we need to have people in the team who will be able to do the development research on their own. So for this reason, I'm taking from time to time, I'm taking educational projects. These are projects that are not directly related to Nixie tubes, but they share the materials, the techniques, how to make them and, and so on. And the main purpose of these projects is to learn something. This week we are building a tube for a customer for a physical experiment. And the main objective for us is to present Eva, who is the person working in development at our team, present her to glass working. Uh, the goal is to give her just some general knowledge of the glass working, how it works, the rules and the limits, so she can design the components made of glass uh, correctly for the glass working procedures and over time she should be able to learn enough of glass working so that she is able to prototype the parts that she previously designed. Uh, for this she doesn't need to be a professional glass blower, uh, she just needs to have some general knowledge and a little bit of practice. Tohle to už máme jako takový ten finální kus, teď když to člověk přeměří, tak zjistí, že to má úplně jinou délku, než to
To ten spodek je celkem dobrý. Ale ty vrchy jsou tam teda hrozné. Jo, myslím, že je dobrá, dobrá. Když jsme to neskrátili právě zase jako moc.
té vody, že? Co se vyčerpá? Hey mom. So this was a nice project, uh, there were a couple of challenges, we learned how to seal a bigger diameter tungsten rod into glass, we learned how to prepare it before sealing, we had to find a way how to electrolytically etch surface of the tungsten in sodium hydroxide, we learned how to etch the stainless steel electrodes uh, before inserting it into the glass for sealing, but it was just a smaller part of these past two weeks, uh, the major amount of time I spent with tracking down the bug uh, which causes our clocks to freeze occasionally. Uh, if you have uh, one of our clocks, uh, you probably already found out that in the past weeks or months uh, it was occasionally freezing without the time advancing. Th this is a coincidence of two bugs. Last week we already found solution for the problem on site of our cloud and uh, in the future weeks we will focus on finding a solution for the firmware of the clock because the clock must be completely independent on the cloud and the cloud must be just uh, like a nice to have addition to uh, to the function of the clock of the clock uh, i will explain why we use the cloud what's the reasons what's the benefits uh, in future once this problem is solved completely uh, and uh, I will also explain like what we do for the clocks to be completely independent of, on the cloud. Big thanks to John Kalberer who is developer of the cloud. Uh, he spent countless hours on helping me to try to fix this problem and I would like to also thank to all our customers and supporters because uh, all this gathering of the knowledge, uh, building the team, building the machines and all the, all the things that we do. Uh, it costs a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources and uh, it wouldn't be possible without, without you.